All right, here we are. We're on the way to the wedding. As you see, we're nice and dressed up. Me and my dad matching. We got this beautiful sunset in the background. Shout out to Marshall for taking us to the wedding. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, we ready. We lit. Me and my dad are matching. How fly is that? I mean, come on now. Come on, man. Wow. All right, so can't wait to see it. First Tanzanian wedding of my life. It's supposed to be some choreography and stuff. Right, the vibes are a max. Shout out to Marshall for inviting us and his right. Marshall and his mom. You guys get the beer coupons? Yeah. The, the, setup, coupons. the setup is unreal. This place is so beautiful. Wow. Look at, look at this. They really went all out. They went all out. Look at they got the beautiful fresh flowers up there. Look at this place. Chandeliers hanging. Superb. All of Marshall's uncles and aunties looking nice. Hey, Mom, it's over there. Some nice photos. But wow, look at this setup. This is this is super beautiful. Tanzania. Marshall and Eric are ready for the food. They're starving. Me and my dad just had a T-bone steak. It was great, by the way. Twenty dollars for a T-bone steak, mashed potatoes and gravy, vegetables. Yo, Marshall. You care to give us a little information on Tanzania weddings? So basically, this is the send out part, which is basically the part where the, the woman's family sends the bride to the male's family. And then once they send out, then there's another second part of the wedding that occurs in the uh, husband's, like the, the groom's part of the family. And then they do the, the full completion of the wedding. And then everything's done. How many parts in total? Three parts. So there's the first part, which happened last year, which is they. they they pay the dowry, the bride price, the bride price. The two families meet, you know, they agree on what the, the price will be. And then the second thing is the send off where the woman is sent off to the family of the groom. And then the third part is where the groom basically celebrates the woman coming to him and then it's finalized. What's the bride price? Uh, I think I'm not sure what the bride price was, but I'm pretty sure it was, it was probably some money or some, some stuff. So you and Eric will have the same exact thing, right? What's the bride yeah. price for Eric? Uh, free. Uh, free? Yeah. Oh, the bride, price, bride price will be free. Free. Discount. Yeah. <laughs> Discount. Discounted. Because I'm such a great guy. So it's discounted. Discounted. Because when they get married, they pay. They give it's a dowry. Like the, the family of the bride gives money to the groom. Yeah. The, the, the groom's family gives money to the. To the they give him cows, yeah, goats, so, money. No, but like for her it will be free because I'm a special guy. Because Marshall's the prize. I'm the prize. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> but yeah, look at this setup. It's starting to get, Marshall starting to get a little busy. Marshall's the prize that we're going to pay you for <laughs> Marshall's such a special guy. <laughs> what is Tanzanian? at least $10,000. It's, it's part of Tanzanian culture. You got to give a, got to give a dowry. And since Marshall's only Tanzanian one. That's true. Yeah. Right? Right, it's part of Tanzanian culture. You got to give a dowry, and since he's the only Tanzanian one, it only it's makes only sense fair. that you should probably give him at least. If you're not going to give him cash, you probably got to give him at least couple two cows, a couple goats. Yeah, doesn't yeah. seem like chickens. a lot. Seem, doesn't seem like very much. Maybe but a horse for Marshall. Oh, a horse. A groom of Marshall's caliber, I think, like, at least a herd of cattle. Yeah. <laughs> it's like forty or more cattle minimum. <laughs> for sure. With the big horns. Exactly. Yeah. Need that. Particular ones. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> this is absolutely unreal. All rolling in. But there, all these are custom made too. All these are all custom. These made. Yeah. My mom was telling me all of her, her and her sister's dresses. Like $100 each custom made. Yeah, that's fine. Look at this. This is epic. The elders are separately apparently. So that's the elders of the elders. So right over there is for the elders. What a great experience. And you get three free beers when you enter. So yeah. Coupons that we get to use. Look at them. I was, I was trying to convince Erica to get the beer coupon so I could get three extra, but she decided to get the juice and soda. Juice and soda. <laughs> Shame. Wait. 
three beers, three safaris. I think that'll do the job for me tonight. We're probably gonna have to chug them down one by one so we can get them. Yeah. Oh, we should have bought a bottle. Yeah. Is there a cash bar app? But if it's a cash bar too, or is it just the coupons only? Yeah, it's coupons only. Because everything's pre made. Wow. Yeah. At least you get three free beers. Would you be down to go get like a little bottle or something? Get some extra beers? Some, some konyagi. Some konyagi? Some traditional African gin. Tanzanian gin. I don't know how we could say no to that. So three beers and a, and a bottle of gin? Might I say we go right now. Real quick. Go on? Yeah. Do We're it. going. I'm on the way to get some local Tanzanian liquor because we're trying to get a little bit folded during the wedding. Oh uh, yeah. I've never been at a Tanzanian wedding, but it feels like it's what only appropriate. This is my, this is my brother right here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. You're about to be on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get some konyagi. Yeah. Marsh says like Tanzanian gin, so oh, yeah. you know I love to hear that. I love to hear it. Let's get right to it. Trying to get a little tipsy. It's cold. I want to get warm. In case you guys didn't know, Tanzania gets pretty chilly. Oh, yeah. It's only like 50 degrees right now, so. Fucking cold. <laughs> Not that bad, but you know, you might want to wear a little a little t-shirt under your nice African shirt, maybe some long pants, and you should be aight. Um, or just get some konyaki and you'll be nice and warm most likely. <laughs> Big facts. Facts. Warm you up with alcohol. Local liquors usually warm you up a lot. And get you faded. And it's We're in Yoringa. Nighttime is busy. Probably about 8 o'clock, everybody's out. It's about to be a fun night tonight. It's about to be a fun night. We're hitting the club after the wedding. Oh yeah. With Marshall's uncle. Marshall's uncle's hilarious. Oh, and, uh, he made a fire joke today. I'm not gonna say the joke because you know people on YouTube might not take too kindly to it, but <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it, even though it was directed towards me. Right, we're in this little bar. Yeah, do you have a do you have a five day? I absolutely do. We're in the spot for Konyagi. We're gonna get nice and faded tonight. Look at this nice little bar, this is real nice. Oh, that's it apparently. I'm hoping this is not gonna have me down bad. Oh yeah, it will. Oh yeah, it will. Read it. Spirit of the nation. You know what I'm saying. 35%. Alright, what's the chances I'm gonna be yakking tomorrow morning? Give you a high uh, 86%. Ooh. 86%. But this is being shared amongst like four or five people, so. Oh no, I need my own bottle. Oh, you need your own bottle? No, bro. Oh. <laughs> I'll literally die, bro. Uh, like, three beers and a couple shots of that, I think we'll be <laughs> right where we need to be. <laughs> be a little, little bit past where I need to be, I think. <laughs> Which is just what I want to Thank you, Asante Sana. Okay, guys. All right, now we're on the way back to the wedding. You'll see me. You'll see me significantly drunker than I am right now in the next video. So stay tuned. You know, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out here in Tanzania, giving you the real local experiences, the best content I can out here with my boy Marshall. So like and subscribe, share my video if you like it, and I'll be so I can keep traveling, keep giving you guys the best videos, keep showing you. But uh, everything there is to see in the world. Local corner store, getting some chasers, some Sprite, and some Coca Cola. Thank you. Already know. Cost a dollar for both of those and seven oh, yeah. for the bottle. That bottle is gonna get a lot of people wrecked today. It's, it's gonna be eventful. Yeah. I mean, we may just be, ch we may chase it mostly with beer. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a lot of chasing that liquid with beer. But here's the local corner store. Thank you to this lovely lady. That's like this. Give her a little tip for being in the video. What a sweetheart. I always got a tip from them for, for allowing us to video their you know their home, their their establishment. You gotta respect yeah. it. Definitely. Because they could be like, no, what the fuck you is know? this guy doing? Yeah. But honestly, everybody seems pretty camera friendly here. They Super camera friendly. friendly. Everyone loves it because it's like, hey, if you're taking a video of me, this must be like something important, or you must like enjoy what you're seeing, you know? So it that's is how something at it. extremely important. Uh, yeah. It's the thing I'm currently dedicating my whole life to. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all right, I can't lie. I'm excited to try this. I smelled this liquor already. It smells pretty good, pretty sweet. 
I feel like it may not taste as good as it smells, but I guess we'll find out. Has it yeah. tasted good? Um, I personally have numbed my taste buds to the point where it tastes like a caramel swirl of beauty, but to the average person, it'll probably taste like a concoction of death. Well, I brought back some local liquor from Ecuador, <laughs> some ridiculously strong stuff that a lot of homeless people were drinking, and Marshall was unable to drink that. So. I'm gonna assume this if I can drink that, similar. I'll put this down pretty, pretty yeah. good. Yeah, honestly, if you're able to drink that shit, this will be a walk in the park, I'm hoping. But, at the same time, this is a powerful breed. Not even gonna lie, last time I drank said Ecuadorian drink, I actually like hurt my insides <laughs> badly for like two weeks I was healing. Yeah. Could barely eat. But, uh, you know, back at it again. You know the vibes. You know, if I learned my lesson, what kind of YouTuber would I be? I'd go be big you guys or go home. Boring ass content. I yeah. gotta be doing some yeah. borderline dumb stuff yeah, on the daily. Course. Otherwise, the content's not good. So by the next time you guys see, a, see us, we'll this be shot taking will shots. Be done. No, we'll be taking oh, shots. We'll be taking shots. And then the bottle will be done. <laughs> That's exactly how it's gonna go. <laughs> so I gotta get the taste test. People have to know how the Konyagi tastes. You know, Marshall's girlfriend is really. Expecting some food to be brought back. Everybody's ready for some liquor. Except this little girl. She's definitely not drinking any liquor. Sure, definitely not. My little cousin. Say hi to say hi to the camera. We're gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> These are, these are the bridesmaids, guys. They have to hide from everyone before. Here's, here's the bridesmaids. Seen. They can't be seen, except but, apparently you know, right they're now. some liquid courage, yeah. as you can tell. Some liquid courage. They need it. I'm ready to try some liquid courage. <laughs> All right. Let's see the reaction. Mm. Oh, wow. That was a mighty chug. A mighty chug. Nice chug. Look, oh, is she gonna yak? No, she's no. good. She's good. She's strong. Let me see your face. See <laughs> <laughs> That guy was obviously whistling at me. Yeah, uh, yeah right. obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to try some. Yeah. Do you want? Do you want some of this? Well, I want to get the real taste. Could you record me? Here, you can flip it down so you can see. Me. All right, ready. You got it. Take a nice big chug. Give you guys the honest opinion. Yeah, the honest opinion. Konyagi, is this the first time? Yeah, it's my first time. First time drinking nice Konyagi. Chug nice chug. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's very sweet. <laughs> Out of ten. Out of ten. Well, depending on how strong it is, mm -hmm. if it's very strong, oh, I could give that a ten. Ten. ten yeah. <laughs> Much rather drink this than like vodka. Pretty strong. Get one, guys. Strong stuff. Mam dogo Lily. Can I get some sweat? Yeah. 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 Welcome, yeah. Kelsey. Mama, can you what? You go down it tell me. What did he una pochi? I don't know where Marshall went. Marshall's missing out on the liquor, I guess. Oh, oof, that was pretty good. See how that affects me a little later. It affected me great, as you can see, and the wedding got off to an amazing and beautiful start. Here's everybody making their entrance.
ili wacheze pamoja basi ni mtume wangu tena niwaombe wageni waliko mabibi na mabwana tuko hapo na tuko na ndio kucheza jamani tuzeni namna hiyo all the kids are going there they go everybody's going All the bridesmaids looking beautiful. As you can see, I had to speed it up a little bit because it is so much dancing and singing, but the vibes are absolutely immaculate. It's exactly what I would describe as a vibe. Look at me getting into it, enjoying my time, feeling the rhythm, feeling the vibes. I can't even lie to you guys, I'm ready to get married like this. This was way cooler than I ever could have expected for any wedding, so super amazing experience. Shout out to Marshall and his family for inviting me and letting us come. Look at this, I, I might be ready to get married to dance in <laughs> Just look at what a great time I'm having. I'm absolutely lit, loving this wedding. And another amazing plus is to see how happy my dad is. Look how genuinely happy my dad is here. Usually he doesn't like weddings, but he just had the best time. There was a few things I may not have completely understood, like this lady dancing down with the suitcase. I guess it does make sense because this is a send-off party for the woman. That's this part of the wedding, there's three parts. But I just went with the flow, lady dancing down the aisle with a suitcase, lit, I loved it. It was just such amazing vibe, so many happy, friendly people. Just look at how much fun everybody's having as they dance down the aisle and celebrate this new time in a person's life. It really is such an amazing sense of community and just so much fun. That guy in the brown suit is the one, the only Uncle Fraha. You gotta love him. He did take us to the club after that. It was amazing. If you ever want any tours, safari tours, club tours, showing around the city, anything like that, just hit me up and I can put you in contact with Uncle Fraha. Now you can see why they were drinking before the wedding. They wanted a little bit of liquid courage before they did this beautiful choreographed dance routine. Yes. 
How cool is this? They all do their own little dance in the middle of the circle. This wedding really is just so much fun. Such an amazing vibe. I hope I don't get copyrighted for this part, but this is what I call an entrance right here. From a legendary entrance to dance with all the bridesmaids, I hope to make an entrance like this someday in my life. This is the entrance of the beautiful bride, and wow, she looks absolutely stunning. So now the brother and the bride are cutting the cake together. I wish I could have gotten a better angle, but I didn't want to stand up and get in anybody's way. But still with the amazing music and great vibes. There's a lot of steps to Tanzania and weddings. <laughs> Love to see it. But
this wedding was another one of those experiences where I was just like, wow, this is one of the coolest things I've ever done. I'm so happy to be a part of this. The wedding was so amazing. Look at the good vibes, cheers, and everybody. Just everybody dancing. You even dance down the aisle to give your gifts to the bride. Like, how cool is that? I hope one day I can have a wedding with such good vibes. And if you ever get the chance to go to a Tanzanian wedding, 100% do it. Now, last but not least, you got the elders dancing and singing their way down the aisle. How beautiful, and look at how amazing their clothing is. Almost everybody's clothing here is custom and handmade, even including me and my dad's shirts. Junior's dad are going to the club today. I know this may look a bit confusing, but I believe this is where they dance down and give the bride all different types of materials and stuff like that. Gift giving part of the ceremony, everybody's bringing up their gifts. You got money or fabric. Here's the end where they're finally sending the bride off and she gets to walk off into the sunset. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed being part of this wedding. I'm so thankful and appreciative that I was welcomed in and invited here. Shout out to Marshall and his family. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, support my channel so I can keep bringing you guys amazing videos like this.